it is Saturday. Time for everyone's favorite Saturday strategy. Hey, this is going to be the last installment of how to raise your own private money. But we're going to go ahead and just do a real quick review because I know that you've all been working on the principles that we had worked or at least told you about in the first three videos. So let's just do a real quick recap. The first, in the first installment, I had went ahead and shared with you how I use a PowerPoint presentation to go ahead and court some of the different people in my sphere of influence to go ahead and get that. And how do I do it? Of course, knowing the, the PowerPoint presentation inside and out, and of course, bringing appraisals of my past deals to explain how their interest in the property is probably going to be the safest investment they're going to do because it's supported by property that's at least 80% loan to value, which means that property could get liquidated quickly if they need their money back, if there are any kind of glitches that come up because we have enough cushion in the deal. The second video, we actually had an, an IRA specialist come in and talk because most of the time when people think about private money, they think that they have to have bags and bags of cash. That's not necessarily true. Utilizing a self-directed IRA is a perfect way to go ahead and make money tax-free. You can't beat that with a stick. Now, not only can we use cash, which is obvious, we can also use the IRAs, what I just talked about, but let's not forget about the line of credit. Remember, any one of those three ways can fund a deal. In the third video, I actually had a partner of mine come in, a real live private lender, and he went ahead and talked about some of our deals and some of the advantages that he had in working with me versus having his money in the market. I can't tell you enough how many times I hear at family reunions, in a lobby, in an elevator, how people are just losing their shirts in the market, not realizing that the greatest investment opportunity of our lifetimes is right in front of us. And not only right around us, it's right around us. It's everywhere. There's houses everywhere that are below value, that are ready to go ahead and be purchased for either a fix and flip, portfolio, lease to own. The exit strategies are as many as the houses out there. Okay, this is your last video. It's time to go ahead and have the rubber meet the road. Practical application. All right, we have somebody that's ready to invest in one of your properties. Well, I do it in one of two ways. I can either have them form a partnership where I will go ahead and have them put their name on the contract so then the property goes into their name. Now remember, there's a couple things that go along with it. That means that they're going to be involved with the process. That means they're going to take care of insurance, they're going to go ahead and take care of the taxes, and ultimately they're going to pick up a little bit more liability. But depending on the person you're working with and the relationship you have, they may feel more comfortable actually having their name on the deed. And that's okay. Just make sure that you have everything set up ahead of time, everything fully explained so there's no surprises. Remember, surprises upset people, and we want to make this experience as painless as possible. So, speaking of painless processes, the second way to use this in practical application is just simply to have them fund the deal for you, that you'll take care of everything for them. And, what you'll end up doing is just paying them 12% or 10%, whatever you agree on, 10 to 12% annualized return. And if you want to sweeten the pot a little bit, another thing you could do is tell them that you would give them 10% of the net spread, whichever one's greater. Play with the idea around. Remember, this is your deal. You're the deal engineer. You're making them money. Confidence is the key and relationship building. So you don't want to go ahead and give them the short end of the stick. You want to make it as painless and profitable as possible. But remember, you also need to make money also. Well, everyone, this concludes this Saturday Strategy episode series of raising private money. I want you to come out and see me on May 2nd to the 3rd in Chicago. I'll be there to answer any and all questions about the process we had just talked about. And, like I said in previous videos, I'll give you my PowerPoint presentation for free. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. I hope you have a great Saturday, because I know I am. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to go take a look at two more houses that I can use. Private money. All right, everyone, talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.
Thank you.